Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting the feeling again. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, getting chills all over my body. This is, oh my god. Why did I ever stop? <laughs> the sky is on fire. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I've literally forgotten how to talk to the camera. And hopefully I've made a video before this, this one here. Um, updating you on why I've been away for so long and why haven't I made any videos. So this is my first actual photography shoot back but I think I'm going to make a video before this because I've got something new to show you in that video. So yeah, hopefully I made a video in the future before this one, if you get what I mean. So yeah, <laughs> I've not missed the heather. It is like the 2nd of September today and I've not missed the heather. And I've wanted to come to this spot all year round. I've been waiting all year to shoot the heather here. I finally made it. And oh my god, it feels so good. This is exactly, exactly, exactly what I had pictured in mind. Like, it's a splitting image of what I wanted. And I got it. And if this isn't a sign, I don't know what is to start doing photography again. Because, oh my god, I'm getting chills and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so much so that I'm not even concentrating on my composition really um, but it's fairly basic it's kind of like a grand vista of um, oh it's just absolutely beautiful and I'm going to have to get the long lens out in a minute because I spotted a beautiful composition I need to get and oh, wow there's just so much to tell you guys with so little time right now so I'm going to talk to you guys uh, later but for now Pretty much, we've got heather, loads and loads of heather in the foreground. Absolutely loads of it. Beautiful, this is what I wanted. I wanted it further into the background, but unfortunately it's not growing that far. And when I was walking up there, I parked up the top. There's two car parks, one down the bottom, one up the top. I had to walk down because the farmers have burned all the heather down up there. So I've had to come down to the bottom car park. And um, yeah, luckily there's still some heather down here. Although it's not as much as it was when I first came here in 2018. Um, and oh just wow yeah I'm exposure bracketing right now because the sky is just on fire and there's just so much dynamic range that <laughs> is ridiculous so unfortunately I've got to go for a 2.5 second exposure um, for the foreground or well, maybe I could just uh, yeah I'm going to have to go for about a 3.2 second exposure actually and the trouble with that is it's a bit windy so um, the heather's got a bit of a uh, movement in it, unfortunately. Um, and for the background of that absolutely beautiful golden sky, 1.4 for second, F16 in both of these shots, by the way, I might drop it down to about F13 in a second, because I really need to stop this movement in this heather. And hopefully that will do the uh, trick. So uh, yeah, I'm going to drop down to F10. And um, I'm a bit rusty, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit rusty. One second exposure. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Right, now I've got to quickly move on to a panorama um, so I can get maximum heather and maximum sky because there's a lot of sky over there that I really want. You can probably see it lighting up above me right now. I'm not even shooting this. That's directly above me. Fortunately not. Oh, I haven't even lying up there. I don't know if you can see it. Wow. There you go, you guys have a full view of the absolutely amazing sky in real time. Um, but yeah, go for a panorama now because I want to get this beautiful heaven 
and all of this beautiful sky. We're kind of losing that pink golden light right now, so I'm going to be quick. Um, so yeah, one over there because we've got a lot of interest here. It's leaving you out. These are all 0.4 of a second F10, by the way. Uh, one more over out to sea. Oh my god, guys. I literally was not going to come out. You do not realise how close I was to giving up. Right, so I'm going to stick on a zoom lens because I've spotted an absolutely amazing uh, shot and I really want to zoom into that and get, you know, not just a grand vista that anyone can come along and get. So, I was there by your side, with my eyes open wide, and I know that I will always be true. There were no reasons why, there's all beauty must die. Each I harbor for your soul Oh, so reckless So we're looking down to Pollock Weir right now and it's an absolutely beautiful little village hidden right out of the way and it's where I uh, camped and then the thunderstorm hit me in the middle of the night um, So yeah, we're shooting, we're looking down to that right now and There's, there's the cove and it just sweeps right around creating a beautiful C shape and I just want to capture that and in the cove those clouds are just reflecting off the water and it's absolutely amazing um, but we are losing uh, that beautiful pink light on those high altitude clouds right now unfortunately but um, yeah it only lasts a few seconds and you have no idea how fast I was racing up here in my Z4. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, but I had to get it because I left late. And I always need to leave with at least an hour. And I, all I left was like half an hour to find my composition. So I really need to get it as fast as I possibly could. But yeah, this is a great shot looking down here. It's not as good as it was. Unfortunately, I didn't act fast enough. And there's a little sapling down here that I want to go shoot at. Um, so yeah, it's all, a, it's all a big rush, and I forgot this is just what it is. This is just how photography is. This is, you know, the adrenaline. And yeah, I'm gonna move on. Right. It took time to recognize we are all filled with pride. I'm a wreck when I'm not by your side. Yes, I know. Yes, I know that I have to agree there is right, so as you see, I'm not down at the sapling right now. Um, the sun is just rising, but yeah, I turned around and I saw this. There's a lovely leading line leading right through the heather right now and up to this beautiful cloud that I was pointing at earlier, which was above me. And I just snapped a quick panorama. Um, of this. Hopefully it turns out pretty well because I was getting just a mad little bit of pink light on those clouds and hopefully I'll capture it. The sun's going to rise now which means we're going to get golden light now. So it's not all over um, but this is the tricky thing about sunrise photography. You've got to get there really early because you know how um, you're, you you know how you often get the light on the clouds after the sunset, you know, the best light, like 20 minutes after. That's the same way, it's just reversed with uh, the sunrise. So, yeah, you've got to be quick for that as well. And, yeah, let's shoot the sun. It's just right. And there's no way without. Can I function with this power? There were no reasons why. Some 
So I'm down at the tree now, or a sapling, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and I've got my composition ready. I place the tree in the left hand side and the sun on the right hand side, but it just doesn't feel right, it just doesn't feel balanced. And the reason I've done that, it does look a lot better when the tree is about in the middle. But the problem with that is it goes above this peninsula and you're not really supposed to you know, make your subject uh, invade um, the background, especially with lone trees. So, yeah, I'm having a bit of a trouble, but I can intentionally do that. You can intentionally do that, but most of the time, if it's unintentional, it just it's just amateur, really. And yeah, so trying to avoid that right now but it is making the image seem a bit unbalanced. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe you guys can have a look and see why it's so, I don't know, weird. I just don't know what it is. But anyway, here's the composition. Essentially, we've just got the tree on the left hand side here and the sun peeping over that peninsula over there, coming through the clouds. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it really. Uh, Unfortunately, most of the heather has been burnt around the tree, don't know why, or oh, it's just died. Um, yeah, shooting about 1 20th second f10, and yeah, uh, probably won't, won't be my favourite shot, but you know. I think it's still worth shooting, and I'm hopefully going to find something else, um, some other composition. But I think I have an idea, somewhere over here, so I'm going to check that out now. So, yeah, I came over here, like I said, I was doing this, and, oh, this is just so much better. Like, it, it's literally miles better. Like, it's actually, now it's absolute, now it's like an absolutely beautiful shot. Um, look at the sun, it's just, it's out from the clouds now. It's just shining this bright golden light upon the tree and upon this foreground. Um, I just don't think I'm much in. I'm not on very sturdy ground right now, so the camera is shaking a bit, but I am shooting at higher FPS now. Um, but it's not really heavy in the foreground, I'm not sure what it is. It's some sort of like leafy stuff, I don't know. But I've never really seen it before. It kind of looks exotic, I don't know. Um, but yeah, now we've got, now the tree, now the tree and the sun have sort of switched positions. The sun's on the left hand side and the tree is kind of in the middle now actually, but leaning towards the right. Um, and yeah, the sun's super bright so I'm going to have to expose your bracket this. The trouble with that is the tree is actually going into the uh, foreground. The tree is actually going into the sky which is going to create problems when it comes to bracketing. So yeah, it's going to be a slight issue. But if worse comes to worse, it's just going to be a super bright sky with a uh, nicely lit foreground. And those photos, sometimes those photos do actually end up being better than having the sky exposed as well. So I'm just going to keep my options open really. But for the foreground, 1 15th of a second F10. And background, 1 50th of a second. Wow, absolutely stunning. Cause I was there by your side with my eyes open wide. But because I've been working nights at Tesco's, I've been going to sleep about uh, 6 o'clock. So, yeah. So yeah, it's about quarter to 7 now. So I'm going to be waking up about 3 o'clock today. Um, that's not a problem really. Because um, hopefully today, what's the saying? Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning is it? Or, I hope not. Because I'm planning on doing sunset tonight. Or oh, is it red sky at night? Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Ah. Oh dear. 
But anyway, the lights get a bit harsh now. Um, just like that, really. The sun has been risen for quite some time. But I've got my sock covered warm tea here. And so, yeah, it's going to keep me warm because it's quite chilly. It's September now, it's getting cold. Um, but yeah. Hopefully I'm back for good guys. Um, I really hope I am. Because I've been working non-stop at Tesco's lately. And nights is coming to an end. I've got one more night to do on Friday. And that should be it. And uh, summer holidays should be over soon. The kids are going back to school. So I hope I won't have so much work. And I have more time to do um, landscape photography. And if you watch my last video. Which I'm going to film in the future after this. I'll tell you all about... Um, all about you know what's happened yeah if, if you haven't watched that video and you're a returning subscriber pretty much i just really have not had time to do any landscape photography and i kind of lost my passion for it to be honest with you but it feels so good to be out again and if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't have came out honestly you guys you people thanks to you subscribing commenting liking thanks to all of you guys um I'm going to continue my dream and yeah pursue landscape photography and I have you, you guys to thank for that and I'm being genuine and honest I swear on my mum's life all right <sighs> there's nothing better than a hot cup of tea in the morning is there especially on a chilly day like this oh my face is getting cold oh it was so nice but yeah hopefully I'm back for good now guys I've got three days off well, technically, yesterday was my first day off. Um, and I didn't do sunset because I was playing a game with my brothers. And I've really got to get out of the habit of gaming. Uh, I mean, it's just a useless hobby, really. But um, it's something that relieves my stress. So I'm not going to drag this video on by chatting away at you guys. Um, because I know I do that awfully a lot. Uh, but what a great morning. And to be honest with you guys, I was contemplating in my bed today... Should I go out? Should I not? My app, this app I use, it always tells me, oh, it's going to be a 20% chance of a good sunrise or a good sunset. And most time it is right. One one time it wasn't right. And it gave me a 20% chance of a good sunrise. And I got a brilliant sunrise. But today it gave me a 66% chance of a, a good sunrise. And I was like, I better take my chances then. And I'm so, so glad I did. But on the cloud map, it was showing cloud everywhere. It wasn't showing a hole in the clouds. So I was a bit um, sceptical. But I'm glad I came out. I really am. So yeah, that's going to be it. Cheers to a great sunrise and a great return. Oh.